All right, guys, so we made it to Bradenton. Uh, this is Friday night, so this is more like a test and tune tonight and some grudge racing, but I can't believe how they got this track back together so quickly. I mean, they got signs up and everything. All these bleachers were all messed up. I know they still have some bleachers over there, but I mean, to get it turned around that fast to uh, have a race like this is pretty amazing, so. But anyway, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm gonna uh, just show you guys a lot of passes. Tonight, we're gonna just do a lot of testing. So I'll just put the passes in there, like one after another, and uh, I'll, maybe I'll go through them towards the end or something like that. But anyway, we're here.
All right, so when you gotta use your Kubota to pull the car in the garage, uh, that's not a good thing. So this is the next day after the uh, race, Out for Blood, and um, had a great time. Uh, the car did really good. There was a lot of ups and downs, but in this video, I, wanna, I just wanna show you guys and kind of talk about what happened over the weekend because I really only showed the passes. I didn't really do any commentary or what was going on and all that. So. This is when I'll explain all that. So, uh, started off Friday night. We went for test of the, the test and tune the day before and made two passes and the transmission started to leak really bad, okay? So on the last pass, uh, I know it's you can't see it in video or anything, but at the end of the track, the car started just moving side, you know, moving towards the wall. And what, what, what it was, was the transmission was blowing fluid on the back tires and uh, yeah, I came close to wrecking it. So we packed, I packed it up, brought it home and in the morning tore apart the transmission and kind of dropped it down so I could get to it. And I found out that the, the two bulkheads that for the oil cooler were coming loose. Okay. So that was what was blowing fluid. And also the vent tube on the top was missing the tube and a bunch of O-rings, you know, the trans brake O-ring I replaced, the dipstick O-ring I replaced. I just kind of freshened it up a little bit as far as what I could without taking the trans apart and uh, fired it back up and everything was great. No issues whatsoever, so no leaking. So I'm like, great, we'll, we'll go back to the track. I went back Saturday, uh, made one test pass, transmission worked flawless. Okay, really fast pass. Uh, out of respect for the, the class, you know, I'm not gonna reveal what the times are, but I can tell you it was in the test pass, it was the fastest pass this, this car, this car has ever ran. So uh, after that, I felt pretty good about going into the eliminations. And of course I drew the only other Fox body with a two JZ in it. That's the guy I drew, Lewis. Great guy, uh, beautiful car, the blue, it's a blue coupe just like this, but, uh, much nicer than mine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I drew him and I decided that I haven't done this yet, but I actually have a tune up in this, um, in this car that I can turn the nitrous on down track. I haven't done that yet with this new motor. Uh, I used to do it on the one J just to kind of get it, you know, get it going down the track, but I've never done it with the two J. So I turned the nitrous on, added more boost, and uh, I said, if this thing holds, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fast. So came up to the line. Uh, he double bowled me on accident, which was kind of nice because it kind of gave me the, uh, the time to, you know, bump in and stage. And, and I cut a really, really good light on him. So I was out on him pretty good from the start. And I know it might be hard in the video to tell, but the car was wanting to wheelie. So it did an initial wheelie and then it wanted to wheelie down the track further. It's, I just felt it start to raise up, but I wasn't gonna lift, so I went ahead and just shifted into second, and that brought it down. And from that point, I stayed in front of him the whole time. Uh, so we got the win. Unfortunately, as soon as I lifted off the gas, okay, all I did was lift off the gas, this loud banging start happening under the car, just like banging like, like the drive shaft was trying to come through the, the floorboard. It felt really bad. And I, I uh, put my hand up by the chute because I'm like, okay, this thing might start doing something stupid. So um, it didn't, slowed it down and the banging slowed down and, and that was it. And then I looked under the car. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna pull the, I have a ballistic blanket around the trans. I'll show you guys, there's a bunch of parts in the ballistic blanket. Like it puked parts out and the, the blanket contained it. So the blanket did its job, that's a good thing, but uh, I didn't take the, you know, I didn't take it off of the track. I, I just saved it for today and I was barely able to get it in here because it's kind of like, I've, even in neutral, it's wanting to lock up. So it was kind of tough pulling it in here. That's why I had to use the Kubota. But anyway, uh, we, we got the win, I, that was great. And um, I mean, I don't know, I can't say what it ran. and. I know it went significantly faster than the fastest pass I did when we were testing. And with the no time stuff, they don't give you time slips anyway when you're um, in the eliminations. So I'll never know what that was, but I can tell you that in the log, 
it was around, it made 42 pounds of boost with nitrous on top, okay? And it, it stuck the whole way. So it made a lot of power, let's just say that. I have no idea how much, I've never dynoed this car. So I know it was making some serious power. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna pull back it in and I'll jack it up and then let's just see what's in the uh, diaper. Not the diaper, but the ballistic blanket that I have. Let's see what's in there, let's see what we busted. And um, that'll probably be the end of this video because it's gonna get long. And then we'll have more videos coming that, you know, I'm gonna pull the motor out, pull the trans. I'm gonna pull everything apart because it's much easier with this car to just pull the motor than it is to try and pull the trans out because the, you know, the front of the car comes off and I can just pull the motor straight out. Don't even have to lift it, it just comes straight out. So uh, let's look under, look, look under the car and then um, I'll kind of finish this video off. Okay, so um, as you can see, before I even take it off, there's something there. There's a gear here. That looks like the Speedo gear. I have no idea how it got over here, but uh, like I said, the, the uh, blanket did its job. But all right, let me cut these little zip ties off that I used to hold the, the ends here and um, I'll drop it down and see what we got. Okay, so the pan's still intact. I was worried that the pan had a hole in it, but looks like what's this. So this is all just Speedo stuff, I think. Yeah, that goes like that. So I don't know how that just came out. Let's see. So that bolt's missing. So one of the trans mount bolts came off too. Yeah, it's locked up. Oh, okay. So I looked under the car a little bit yesterday and I did, okay. So we're missing a cap that goes on the U-joint on this side over here. I know you can't see it, but the uh, spring fell out. So I think uh, let me go on the other side and see. All right, so there's the hole. Um, you know, I don't know. I think that, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, this tail housing might be cracked. But, uh, yeah, the pan's fine. I thought the pan would have holes in it, but it doesn't. So it just blew out the gear. This is actually good news. I mean, um, you can see, look, right there, the drive shaft U-joint kind of exploded. And then it started banging on the bottom of the car right there, hitting the drive shaft loop. So I guess that's why we run drive shaft loops, huh? So, and it did rip one of the bolts out of the mount, this this custom mount I made, it ripped one of the bolts right out of it. I don't know how it would do that, but yeah, I don't know. That looks weird right there. That like there's like a line. I don't know. So yeah, a few parts, but oh. to be honest with you. 
So to be honest, I, it's not quite as bad as I thought, but so my theory is, is that the, uh, the U joint exploded and started banging on the bottom of the car. And that probably just shook the heck out of the transmission. So we won't know until we get the, everything out, if the transmission's got cracks in it or not. But I, I think there's, there's damage to the transmission because it doesn't want to roll. Uh, like it's wanting to lock up, but that could be the U joint doing that too. So, but anyway, uh, this video is going to get really long and I, I'm going to probably stop it right here. The next video what we'll do is we'll, we'll yank this all out. Uh, we'll go through everything, take it apart and we'll really get a good look at what happened. Most likely that drive shaft is junk after banging around like that. It's, you know, that's, that wouldn't be safe to try to reuse it. And the transmission is going to have to be gone through or what, I don't know. I need to find an expert on that because I've never worked on transmission before. I'm, I mean, engine stuff, I'm great with chassis, whatever, but transmissions there, there's some magic going on in those things that I, I'm not familiar with. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, car ran great. The engine, it performed great. Uh, maybe, maybe down the road, we'll go over some of the logs too. And I'll show you guys the tune and what kind of timing I'm running. Cause I get a lot of questions about that on the forums, like what kind of timing I'm running with the, with the boost numbers and all that. So we'll go over all that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. I uh, will uh, check y'all later.